Hey everyone! So good to see you. Welcome back to Fridays with Athena. And um, I wanted first of all to wish you all an amazing May. First of May, um, um, the first sort of real day of spring, I feel. Um, there's so much, you know, beauty all around us, uh, despite these difficult times. Um, there is so much, you know, um, life really, you know, life, um, uh, renewal, you know, flowers blossoming everywhere, uh, acts of kindness everywhere. Uh, just, you know, so many things to warm our hearts. Um, hey, lovely to see you all and thanks for joining my Fridays with Athena uh, here from Los Angeles. And um, for the Greeks of, out there, Kali uh, Maya, happy month. Uh, May Day is, uh, you know, the first of May is Labor Day for a lot of countries in Europe, including Greece. And I wanted to give a shout out to all the workers, um, all the special workers out there, um, but also all of us, all the workers working from home. You know, it's a day for uh, that we, uh, should all celebrate um and also i feel like it's a uh, kind of um this all this hope in the air you know um for greece i'm really excited that on the 4th of may some of the measures are going to be relaxed and so uh, people are going to start going out again more um here in la we're a little behind so we're still uh very much in lockdown <laughs> um but but still there's there's a lot of um I don't know, maybe because it's spring, I feel positive and I feel like um, there's a lot of birth. You know, there's so much death around us, but there's also so much, so much that's new and beautiful and um, revived. Um, I want to see who's here. Hey! Oh, so good to see you all. Okay, so I want to start with, um, you know, a... a a Greek song, actually, that um, is uh, really important to me because I um, I sang it to my son when he was first born. Um, uh, you know, those first days when a child is born, it's so uh, so precious, so sleep deprived, <laughs> but also so mysterious like almost like they still are connected to this other place that they came from and also me as a mother I was so emotional and um hormonal and I cried at everything so I would sing the song to him and cry <laughs> so I thought I'd share something very personal I've never played the song before live so I hope it goes well and um except to my son <laughs> um and anyway it's um it's a very famous Greek song about those quiet nights. Oh 
this woman This is a So, um, hey, <laughs> oh, so good to see you all. Um, yeah, I love that song too, so much. And um, it's um, special to me. Um, I don't know, it feels very, um, very relevant as well because I live out here in the desert and um, <laughs> uh, thank you, John. Great to see you. Thanks so much for your support. You've been an amazing uh, support. Um, and all of you uh, out there, um, I really appreciate uh, all your hearts <laughs> and the flowers. Um, so I was saying that living out here in the desert, you know, LA is pretty much um, very uh, a desert and very close to Joshua Tree. And, you know, Joshua Tree actually was um, one of the reasons I moved here. I had this insight uh, when I visited the desert um maybe five or six years ago now um and it, it just has this incredible power the desert you know um and all these wildflowers that grow out of cactuses you know out of all things that you wouldn't even imagine um these hostile looking things and then these beautiful flowers so there's hope everywhere and these hummingbirds are everywhere and they really inspire me um and so this next song draws on all of those images, the desert, the hummingbirds, uh, the wildflowers. And, you know, I, I wrote it the day that I was expecting my baby on his due date. Um, and it's going to be on my new record that's coming out in June. Um, and it's, um, I was thinking, you know, during this time, how um, maybe some of us have not thought that a lot of women are actually pregnant. You know, my neighbor across the street is pregnant right now. And oh my God, like how challenging, you know, it must be um, to be pregnant right now <laughs> with all the restrictions. Um, so sending a lot of strength and love to all the women out there that are pregnant or giving birth. Um, and let me see. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. It's so sweet. Um, yeah, you know, it's funny you say that, uh, Kiriako, um, because, um, you know, we have a Greek song called Agriolulu, though, and I think about it often, I think, you know, just how, you know, I, um, I just moved here and uh, to LA, uh, so far away from my family without, you know, um, knowing anyone and, and kind of building my life from nothing. <laughs> And, you know, especially at times like this right now, I miss them so much. I wish I was in Greece making a beautiful Stefani out of flowers, a wreath uh, with my mom. Uh, but I am here. And so, um, and it's beautiful here too. And I'm very grateful. And so I want to dedicate this next song to all the moms and all the um, pregnant women or women giving birth during this very hard time. Uh, and it's going to be on my new record, and it's the first time I've played it, so bear with me if it's still a little rough around the age edges. And um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a song really about all the impossible things you want to do as a mother to protect your child, to be there. And um, this is for my little boy, too. Today is your birthday. Oh, oh, oh. I've waited for so long. Oh, oh, oh. you will always be together. Oh, oh, oh. forever. 
you uh oh <laughs> oh thank you guys it's so nice to hear from all of you around the world and um this was um a very kind of intimate song um from my new record that's not out yet it's the first time i played it and i um it's called um voice of the desert and uh i wanted you know today just to share a little bit of that um, the taste of what's to come, as well as this Greek song that inspired me um, and has always been inside my heart and my soul. And I guess we are, as artists, we express the things that are inside of us. And I'm, you know, uh, from both worlds, you know, uh, my heritage is Greek. I've spent most of my life abroad. So uh, I bring both to my music and uh, let's see what you guys are saying. Oh, thank you so much, Effie. Um, oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, it sounded perfect. Um, oh, I appreciate that. Um, I hope the sounds good. I, I am going to be answering some questions. If you guys have any, I'd love to, um, uh, let's see what you guys are saying. Exactly. Exactly. Um, oh my God. I, I want to sit down and read all of this and reply to all of you. Um, 
Oh, nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lena. Uh, oh my God, Pablo, hi from Costa Rica. Oh my God, it's so good to see you. Um, I wonder what uh, lockdown looks like there. Um, Nicola, thank you. Hi to Thessaloniki, Athens, LA. Uh, oh my God. Um, so, so many messages. I'm gonna have to read everything and answer uh, to all of you um, in person. Um, so yeah, um, I, I'm gonna be continuing these Fridays with Athena, even as restrictions are starting to ease in some places in the world, but I feel like it's still very important to stay connected and who knows what this is gonna look like, right? There's so much uncertainty right now and um, we still need each other and we need to check in. And so I'll be sharing my music and I um, um, uh, hope you enjoyed today and next week I'm gonna have um, some more stuff. Please let me know if you have any questions or requests. Um, and uh, I'll also be letting you know this week uh, when my next song will be officially out. We're making a new video and some behind the scenes to share with you all. So thanks again. Um, happy May. Um, I thank you all for being here and for supporting me so much and sending all my love around the world. See you next Friday. <laughs>